Researchers here in the UK say they have found the strongest sign yet of possible life beyond our solar system. They've done so by detecting the chemical footprint of gases in an alien planet's atmosphere that, on Earth, are only produced by living. This signal, originating from the Proxima Centauri system just over four light years away, was unlike anything we've ever encountered. That's the moment it became clear. This wasn't human noise. This was something else, something artificial. And what makes this even more startling is that the source was moving away from the telescope, suggesting it came from a star system far beyond our own. It's faint, yes, but unmistakably artificial. A potential first contact, one that could change everything. The implications are enormous. If this signal is real, if it's truly from an extraterrestrial source, the consequences for humanity could be staggering. What we once thought was science fiction might be right at our doorstep. The Parkes Radio Telescope recently detected an unusual signal, one that's unlike anything we've ever encountered before. It's a narrow band transmission, artificial in nature, coming from the Proxima Centauri system. What makes it even more intriguing is that the signal was moving away from the telescope, suggesting it could be coming from something orbiting deep in space. At first, the signal was dismissed as faint background noise, just another interference. But thanks to new technology, scientists have amplified and analyzed it in much greater detail, revealing something far more compelling. So what's really going on here? Is this the first sign of an alien civilization? Why did it take so long for the true nature of this signal to be uncovered? What's hiding in the Proxima Centauri system? And if this is from an advanced civilization, what are they trying to tell us and why now? We're gonna break down what all this means and dive into the answers to these questions. What's coming next could shift everything we know about life in the universe. Stick around as we explore the implications of this groundbreaking discovery. The signal from Proxima Centauri was unlike anything we've encountered before. Narrow band and unmistakably artificial. It became clear that this wasn't just another random anomaly. It was something purposeful, something designed, and that changes everything. What does this mean? For the first time, we're faced with what could be the real proof of extraterrestrial intelligence. The fact that it's coming from Proxima Centauri, a star system so close by makes it even more significant. It's not some distant, unreachable galaxy. This is within our reach, within the very frontier of our technology. We're not just hearing static, we're hearing a signal within ion. Why now? That's the next question. The technology we now have, like phase array multiplexing, has allowed us to hear signals we would have missed just a few years ago. This breakthrough has opened the door to signals we've never been able to detect before, and it's likely that this is just the first of many who knows how long it's been waiting for the right tools to finally catch it. As scientists continue to study the signal, the next steps are crucial. They're using the latest technology to amplify the signal and analyze it in far more detail than before. The breakthrough in phased array multiplexing technology has allowed researchers to capture and consolidate data from multiple radio dishes around the world. This technology makes it possible to study faint signals more accurately, ensuring that what we're hearing isn't just background noise, but something intentional. But how do we know it's not just interference? That's a good question. Initially, there was some doubt, simply because the signal was weak and could have been dismissed as random static. However, the key lies in the nature of the signal itself, its narrow band, which is characteristic of artificial sources. Natural cosmic phenomena, like pulsars or magnetic stars, tend to emit broad, irregular signals, while narrow band transmissions are typically associated with technology. 
The precision of the signal, combined with its movement away from the telescope, suggests it's something deliberately generated, and it's something we've never seen before. These two factors, advancements in technology and the unique characteristics of the signal, are leading us closer to the truth. And while we're still piecing it all together, the more we learn, the clearer it becomes. This is not interference, and it could very well be the beginning of something much bigger. What could they be trying to tell us? The nature of the signal suggests it's not just a random burst of energy. It's too precise, too narrow to be natural. The message isn't clear yet, but it's there, perhaps waiting for us to be ready to understand it. We're still piecing it together, but every new detail we uncover makes the possibility of contact feel closer than ever. As we move forward, the real question is how far this could go? Could this signal be the start of an ongoing conversation? And if we're hearing this now, what else might be out there waiting for us to listen? And also, how are we going to respond? We are on the verge of proving we are not alone. And with that comes the potential to transform humanity's understanding of the universe. But how could scientists overcome the challenge of verifying this signal's authenticity? The answer lies in technological advancement. New techniques in signal processing and data analysis made it possible to amplify and isolate the signal from all the background noise. This breakthrough allowed researchers to confirm that the signal was not natural. It was a signal with purpose, something intentionally sent. However, the source remains a mystery. The signal could have come from Proxima b, an exoplanet in the habitable zone, but further work is needed to determine whether that's the case. The next obstacle is determining if this signal is a one-off event or the beginning of something larger. Is this the first of many signals? And if so, how do we prepare to respond? The stakes continue to rise. Looking ahead, this discovery presents not only challenges, but also opportunities. The tools developed to analyze this signal could be applied to other systems, helping us detect and understand potential signals from other civilizations. However, we also face the reality that while this discovery opens the door, it is only the beginning. The real questions are just starting. How do we decode the message and what does it mean for the future of space exploration? The discovery of the signal from Proxima Centauri is a reminder of the vastness and mystery of the universe. For centuries, we've wondered if we're alone, and now we may be closer to an answer. This moment isn't just about science, it's about the awe of what lies beyond and the infinite possibilities ahead. As we move forward, we must approach this discovery with both curiosity and caution. What does it mean to know we're not alone? This question could define our future. The adventure is just beginning, and the universe is waiting. We are explorers at heart, and this is only the start of what we could find. This is not the first time we have tried to find extraterrestrial life. We already have an institute called SETI, which stands for Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence. Traditionally, SETI has focused on trying to detect radio signals or other forms of communication from distant civilizations. But with this new discovery, we might need to switch things up. The idea of finding city lights rather than listening for signals suggests that we should be on the lookout for other signs of advanced technology. Think about it. What if there are more planets out there, like Proxima b, where artificial lighting or even massive structures could indicate life? This could mark the beginning of a whole new era in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. But it is not just the scientists who are getting excited. This discovery has captured the public's imagination like few space-related events have in recent years. The idea that an alien civilization might be close enough for us to see the lights of its cities is both thrilling and awe-inspiring. People are excited about this discovery. They have been following every update from the James Webb Telescope and eagerly waiting to see what comes next. And honestly, who could blame them? Beyond the science and public fascination, 
There is also something bigger to think about. The potential discovery of an intelligent civilization challenges us to reconsider our place in the universe. We have always seen ourselves as the top species, the pinnacle of evolution. But if Proxima b really does have intelligent life, we are not alone. This realization might change how we see ourselves and our responsibilities as a species, both to our planet and to the technology we create. It is a lot to think about, but it could push humanity in exciting new directions. And not just that, we might also be looking at some threats. How can we prepare ourselves if an alien race does exist just some light years kilometers away? Potential threats. The possibility of an advanced civilization on Proxima b raises many questions and concerns. If these lights detected on the planet are truly artificial, we are looking at a society that has mastered some impressive technological feats. But what can we learn from them? Could they show us how to build a sustainable, advanced society? Or on the other hand, warn us of the dangers that come with rapid technological progress? There is also the unsettling thought. Would they see us as a potential threat? Just as we might be cautious about them, they could be equally wary of Earth. The prospect of making contact with an alien civilization brings up difficult questions about our future, our place in the universe, and how we handle the responsibility of advancing technology. Plus, it forces us to consider what kind of civilization we are or want to become as we explore the cosmos. One thing is for sure, if these lights are real, they could be the catalyst for some serious international cooperation. Studying a planet that's light years away is not a job for just one country. It is going to require the kind of teamwork we have seen with projects like the International Space Station. Many countries would have to come together, pool resources and share knowledge, all for the common goal of exploring Proxima b and potentially making contact. This could inspire a new wave of collaboration and space exploration. Now, if there really is a civilization on Proxima b, one of the first questions we would probably ask is how they have managed to survive in such a hostile environment. Remember, Proxima b is orbiting a red dwarf star. Proxima Centauri, which is notorious for its intense stellar flares. These flares can bombard the planet with harmful radiation making it hard to imagine life surviving there. But if these lights are anything to go by, it suggests that the inhabitants of Proxima b have found some way to protect themselves. Maybe they have developed advanced technology to control their atmosphere or shield their cities from radiation. Heck, they might have even adapted biologically or technologically to thrive under such extreme conditions that would give us a whole new understanding of how life can evolve in ways we have never thought possible. And let's not forget about the lights themselves. What if the technology powering them is something far beyond our current understanding? We are talking about the possibility of energy sources we cannot even conceive yet. Antimatter, reactors, zero point energy are harnessing the energy of their star in ways we have only dreamed of. The intensity and spread of these lights could offer some serious clues about the level of technology this civilization has achieved. If they have tapped into energy sources that are far beyond anything we have come up with, it could totally redefine what we think is possible for our own future. There is also a fascinating cultural angle to consider. The distribution of these lights across the planet could give us a peek into society's structure. Are the lights spread evenly? If so, it would suggest there is a highly connected global society. But what if the light is clustered in certain areas? then it would hint at the existence of city-states, nations, or factions. The patterns could reveal a lot about how this alien civilization functions, from urban planning to technological priorities. Understanding how this alien society operates would be important if we ever do make contact. Are they peaceful explorers eager to share their knowledge and culture, or are they isolationists, choosing to remain hidden from the rest of the universe? 
Their light suggests a civilization that is advanced enough to possibly engage in interstellar travel. If that's the case, they could have already explored other planets and star systems beyond Proxima Centauri. Another question that keeps popping up is the timing of this discovery. Proxima b is only 4.24 light years away, which means the light we are seeing now left the planet just over four years ago. That's almost real time in the grand scheme of space. This raises the possibility that any civilization on Proxima b could be at a similar technological stage as us right now. They could be facing the same societal challenges or working on the same advancements, but in an alien world, alternatively, they might be a much older civilization that's already hit its technological peak or even collapsed with the lights being the last remnants of a once great society. The sheer proximity of Proxima b means that communication, while challenging, would not take as long as we might expect. With a light year delay of just over four years, it is almost instantaneous compared to the centuries or millennia it would take to communicate with civilizations in more distant parts of the galaxy. If we ever establish contact, it could be the beginning of something truly transformative not just for us, but for our understanding of life in the universe. So what are the possibilities we would be able to contact with this new species? The possibilities, the possibilities of making contact with an alien civilization on Proxima b are staggering. If we send a signal out, we can receive a response in just nine years. That's the potential here. For the first time, humanity could engage in a real-time conversation with another intelligent species. Of course, the logistics are a whole other story, like what language would we use? How would we even ensure that we understand each other? These are big challenges, but the short delay in communication makes it a lot more realistic than ever before. And then, what about their technology? We have already seen city lights. What other types of signals or technologies could exist on Proxima b that we have not yet detected? This could be just the beginning. Maybe they have massive engineering projects that produce gravitational waves or something equally mind-blowing. Every new discovery could offer us a deeper understanding of their technology. And who knows, maybe it is a road map for our own future. Another huge question is who or what lives on Proxima b. If this civilization is advanced enough to produce artificial lighting, it is safe to assume they are intelligent, but their biology, that's likely something entirely different from anything we have encountered. Proxima b orbits a red dwarf star, which means its environment is pretty extreme. The inhabitants could have evolved unique biological features to survive in such volatile conditions. Or maybe they have merged biology with technology, becoming a post-biological society where machines and organic life are mixed to create a new species. This also opens up an interesting discussion on intelligence. For centuries, we have defined intelligence based on our own experiences. But what if the life forms on Proxima b have developed intelligence in a totally different way? Maybe they operate on a hive-like consciousness or have a collective intelligence that functions on principles we cannot yet grasp. This could redefine what we consider intelligence and even shift how we approach AI and machine learning here on Earth. And if we are thinking big, Imagine the possibilities of cultural exchange. If we establish contact, the potential to share knowledge, ideas, and innovations with an entirely different species is mind-blowing. We could learn new forms of governance, philosophy, art, and science, ideas that have evolved under completely different circumstances. The collaboration could start a renaissance of creativity and thought for both species. So what do you think? How should we approach this new discovery? Should we make contact with this extraterrestrial life or not? Tell us your opinions in the comments below. If you want to hear more shocking stories, go ahead and subscribe to the channel because we have got a lot more of this. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.